Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the 16th in a series of video tutorials for Unity 5. So in this episode we are going to be looking at some audio, so uh, some like, overworld music and some sound effects. And at the end of that it will lead us into the next tutorial, which will be uh, our title screen. So in this one we're going to start by going to Assets, right click, Create and Folder. And we're going to call this folder audio. So this is where we store all our audio files. So head on in there and import these two audio files. And as always, you can get these on our website in the description below. Uh, head over there, download and assets, select the series, and then uh, you can select these assets right here. Now you don't have to use these ones, we're only giving you these ones to make things uh, a little bit easier. Uh, there are plenty of free audio out there on the internet if you want to go and have a look. So these files themselves uh, I've actually made myself in um, a program which is called FL Studio. It used to be known as Fruity Loops. Um, if you know the artist Bass Hunter, I think he started his career in Fruity Loops and went from there. Now FL Studio is a paid product, so I won't be doing any tutorials on how to make music for your game because everything I do is something which you can make for free. So we'll start with this overworld theme. Um, um, ideally what I want is when we press play, I want there to be a kind of music playing in the background as we roam around, do whatever we need to do, like most games. So I'm going to go to game object and create empty. Uh, let's right click, let's rename and let's simply call this overworld audio. And I'm going to drag and drop that onto our first person controller right there. So now you have that there as an empty game object. So what we need to do now is we need to add component. We need to go to audio and we need audio source. Now this brings up quite a few options, little bits and bobs, but the only thing we really need is to drag and drop our overworld theme into our audio clip. Let's drop it there. Make sure you have a play on awake ticked, that means it will play as soon as the scene starts and also we want to loop it. Don't worry about priority, it's fine as it is. Change the volume and the pitch and all different options here. So let's just press play now and see what we get. So that plays nicely. Maybe we need to lower the volume. So let's lower it to half and press play again. Maybe still a little bit too loud. So you can play with your options there. Let's put it on that. Let's see how it plays when it's very, very low. Okay, so I think that'll do there. We'll leave it at 1.5. I may change it later on, but we'll see how that goes. So because we got looped, when it ends, I think it's about one and a half minutes, maybe a minute long, something like that. So when it's done, it'll just repeat itself all over again. But there are fades at the beginning, at the end, so it does kind of seem a bit seamless. Okay, so that's how you put in overworld music for your game. The next thing I want to do is something that was requested um, a couple of tutorials ago about sound effects when you pick up coins. So we're going to put a sound effect when you pick up your coin. So head back over here to where we first had our coins. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do the uh, exact same as we did last time. So add component, audio and audio source. Now we're going to do this a little differently because the, or the coin audio goes there instead of the overworld obviously, but you need to untick play on awake and ensure you don't tick anything else there at the moment. Again with all these, uh, best to leave them just for now until we figure out if we're doing it all right. 
So to get the audio to actually play on this coin, what we need to do is modify our script that we made. So if you remember, we have two scripts on the coins. One is to make it spin, and the other is to collect it. And it is the coin collect we need to adjust. So if you head to your scripts, and let's find coin collect, double click and open in mono Develo. Oh, I have noticed some of you ha uh, have Visual Studio opening in uh, this instead of Mono Develop. It doesn't make a difference if it's in Visual Studio or whether it's in uh, Mono Develop. But you can change it by going to Edit, Project Settings, and ooh, which one is it? It's not Input. It, you can change it here in your Project Settings. Oops. It may be script execution. Either way. Or is oh, preferences, I think. Sorry, it's preferences. My bad. So you can select there. External script editor. I only have Mono Develop at the moment in Unity 5. Um, you've probably got both if you're using like, a brand new version of it. Um, but you can select Mono Develop there or you can select Visual Studio, whichever. It, it doesn't make too much of a difference because it's all the same. Okay, so we wrote this script um, well, quite a while ago now, in um, probably episode 6, 7, something like that. We need to modify this now because we need to put in a few more commands and adjust which order these two lines come in. So, under your first one here, under the function, we need to put in a variable. So we're going to put var, and we'll call this coin audio I think yeah we'll stick with coin audio and it needs to be an audio source remember that it's a capital A capital S and we need to get the component so much in the same way as we did when we uh, created animation for our weapon we had to get the component from the animator on the object so get component and we need, um, what is it, audio source. Remember, caps again on that one. And brackets, semicolon. So now we've defined um, our variable coin audio. And now we want to play it. Coin audio dot play. So now that will play our coin. Now, one thing to note on this, as it stands at the moment, because the game object gets destroyed, there's no wait commands, there's no nothing, our coin audio wouldn't effectively play because we've destroyed the object. So at this point, we need the coin system to collect the coin and add one to it. And what we're going to do now is, rather than destroy the coin immediately, we're going to quickly move it off screen and then we're going to wait one and a half seconds for the audio, make sure the audio plays and then we're going to destroy it. So what we need to do is we need to transform position and we need to make equal vector 3 so we need to give coordinates to move it uh, so in this case we're going to put the position as 0 on the x minus 1000 on the Y and 0 on the Z or Z. Now the reason I've done that is because having it as minus 1000 means that we're never really going to see it because it means it is a thousand blocks down in our world and I, I really don't think that's going to be something that we'll see at least not in this game. If you have a massive game which is maybe a massively tall tower as long as it's off screen somewhere so you could put that as maybe 10,000 zero, 00 or zero, 00 minus 5,000 on the Z or Z. As long as it goes off screen and you can't see it, that's all you really need. So now we need to yield and wait for seconds. So, yes, yield, wait for seconds. And as I say, I'm going to put 1.5, so one and a half seconds just to ensure that the audio does play. And finally, the last one there, destroy game object. Save that script. So just to quickly recap, 
Uh, we've modified this with an extra one, two, three, four lines. Firstly, defining our variable, what the audio is, playing the audio, moving the coin away from screen, waiting, and then obviously it destroys. So let's head back into Unity. And what I'm quickly going to do is just so we can hear the audio, I am going to put this right down. Let's put it as 0 0.05 for now. And press play. That was the overworld theme I just changed, by the way. Okay, so let's head over. It probably would have been quicker to move the actual character over there in the first place, but it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so on the first coin, there we go. Now, you'll notice if we try picking up the second coin, I don't think we can. Oops. As it says at the bottom, there is no audio source attached to coin 002, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, that is the reason we can't put anything on there. Coin 002, we did not add the component. So, add component to all your coins, and that is the reason I only added four coins when we did back in episode six, seven, whatever it was. Because if you have tons of coins, then you probably have the issue now where you have to select them all and put all the coins on. All the, sorry, all the um, audio on the coins. However, I wouldn't worry too much because all you can really do is you could get rid of all your coins and just duplicate the first coin to replace them. There may be a quicker way of doing this, but since I only have four coins, I may as well just stick to this way. It, it's not a big deal. But I'm going to save my scene there at the moment. Let's get rid of those uh, errors in the console. And let's press play again. And let's head back over our bridge and let's collect our coins. Hopefully this works. I, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. There we go. So, as you can see, our coins are now being collected. Which makes me quite happy, as we've managed to accomplish the fact our coins now make a sound. So, speaking of sounds, the next tutorial we'll be working on, uh, we'll be doing a title screen. And there are different ways to do a title screen, and there are different types of title screen. So whether it's a still one, whether it's uh, a colour changing one, whether it's an animated one. Um, I haven't quite decided, but I think I'm going to go for an animated title screen to make things better. But obviously we'll need music on there as well. So using the same sort of principles we've done here, we'll be using more audio in the next tutorial. So um, until the next one, uh, have a, as always, have a play around. Add in whatever audio you want, whatever overall you want, any sort of sounds you like for collecting things or whatever. Just play around in Unity as I always suggest. So until next time, thank you very much for watching.